call 232-5433. 232-5433. There's going to be some information there. And we, uh, we hope uh, we get some people to come out like we did last year. It was a lot of fun. Anybody here last year? It was, it was a good show, wasn't it? It was a hell of a show. Very nice show. What we got? You sure what you're doing, Wilson? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <coughs> well, ju yeah, just open the door. We're going to let Oh, you ready? All right. I'm going to present our star at group. Capable of presentation of two. Mr. Paul Daigle, the Cajun Gold. Paul Daigle and Cajun Go. <coughs> Paul, uh, Vincent, when he opened the show, he said he had too much show. Too much show, way too much show tonight. Uh, Mr. Jesse Leger and uh, the Southern Rebels. Jesse, I'm going to play with Jesse. He said, I'm going to play with Jesse before Paul. And man, that would have been a toss up. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful evening. So glad y'all could come back. Uh, back. I'm telling you. Good to have you back, Mr. Paul Dago. P. Lower Kelly, bear, toujours, le sur la basse, anchor, anchor man, la basse, sur la basse, le bord. David Cormier aussi. Ça qui s'appelle dans la musique, ça qui s'appelle dans la musique, the back line, the foundation. Et uh, bien sûr, uh, Mark Latulet sur la guitare, Dred Law. <laughs> Ken Smith, Dred Law, de sur. Ken Dazone, got to learn last time he was here, they had a music store over there, because in case y'all break a string uh, or need a pick, 
Need some sticks? Any of that stuff? You can go right over there and see him. Hey, we have Mr. Paul Daigle, Brett Law. Hey. Of course, in, in addition to playing some wonderful music, if, uh, if you happen to have one of those little fender benders, Paul can help you there too. There you go. What's the name of the shop? What's, what's that? Cajun Gold Body Shop. Cajun Gold Body Shop. Easy to remember. Cajun Gold Body Shop. Et on euh, va continuer la soirée avec quelque chose que euh, Pee-wee Broussard, Liman Préjean, tout, euh, ils ont fait des années et des années passées, quelque chose qui s'appelle la vase de tout le monde. On va jouer ça pour tout le monde qui est ici à soir. Belle Valls de tout le monde, uh, Mr. Paul Daigle, the Cajun Gold avec nous autres. Habitude, uh, on a appelé ça Reunion Master, c'est juste uh, tous les temps en temps, ça vient jouer pour nous autres. Ça ici, la prochaine chanson, c'est une de mes favorites chansons. La première fois que j'ai entendu ça, c'était uh, Steve Riley, mais c'était une vieille, vieille chanson. <coughs> Quelque chose qui s'appelle le High Point Two Step. Et puis, uh, ça m'a excité, man. Ça m'a ça ça donne, donné un boost. <laughs> Yo, Chappelle, a high point to step.
Je connais pas You. Je connais pas You High Point A. Je connais pas You High Point A, mais j'aimerais avoir un camp là-bas. <laughs> hey, Ken, I don't know where High Point is, but I'd love to have a camp over there, man. God, no. Uh, J'ai une chanson à pour um, une belle blonde qui s'est fait prendre en revenant du bal. Et, uh, kind of a compromising position, but uh, we won't talk too much about that. Quelque chose qui s'appelle uh, Hakamoro. Marc Latchelé, pour faire un magnifique job de la balle, sur la guitare, puis elle chantait. Euh, si vous êtes, euh, vient d'allumer le radio, ce n'est pas un vieux show, c'est un nouveau show. <laughs> Mr. Paul Tegel, le Cajun Gold, est revenu euh, pour jouer un petit peu de musique plus tard. Quoi c'est euh, Jou Rose, Paul, de la vieille chanson à euh, Austin? Austin P, boys. Vieille, vieille chanson qui s'appelle Jolie Jou Rose. Kind of a haunting quality to this one. You gonna do this one? Oh yeah, Austin played everything too, man. <laughs> See, Mr. Varis Connor used to say that. He said, well, "You gonna play that, Mr. Varis? Well, we're gonna we're gonna whittle on it a little while and see see what we can do. Rub a dub." Let's change it on you. Huh? Before? What? Which one? The lack of scene special.
Kind of like riding a bicycle, huh? <laughs> yeah. And Paul, it's kind of like riding a bicycle. Like yeah, it's a, <clears throat> it's a lot more fun than riding a bicycle. <laughs> okay, let's you enjoy the two doors. All right. Bien chanson, Austin Pete, to be a savoir vous donner des free songs, one of the most haunting songs in Cajun music. Cher Jolie two doors.
Rose. <coughs> Mr. Ken Smith, the prefer uh, to sort the his affair magic to Sylvia Londre at Lal. Uh, I'm si uh, uh, si uh, 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 Back in the early 70s, I guess, 70, 71, 72. And uh, Mr. Um, Varman Daigle and uh, B. Cormier got this great idea to uh, try to encourage some of the young people to play music, play Cajun music. And they had a couple of contests to see, uh, to give young people a chance to show off, kind of kind of build them up, give them a little bit of attention. And uh, Paul, how old were you when you, uh, when you won that contest? I was 14. 14 years old, man. It must have made you feel like you were on top of the world. Like a man. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> and one of, the things that, one of the things that they typically did in, the, in these contests, these, uh, these uh, competitions, was they would pick a song that's kind of hard to play. Like, usually you get the Crowley two-step or uh, what else? What, what you usually hear in those things? Uh, uh, now you would hear the Amity two-step, I guess, and it didn't exist then. But this next song was one of them that uh, people used to play to kind of show off a little bit, uh, kind of show what they could do. It's complicated. You were real brave. Yeah. <laughs> because <clears throat> this next song, the Paradigm Two Step, it's very easy to run out of air if you don't manage your left hand right. Now, that might not mean something to most of you, but uh, accordion players have, who have tried this, especially for the first time in front of a lot of people, can have found themselves. You got <laughs> with a hole where they ran out of air for a little while. So anyway, um, it's one of the uh, one of the competition songs, and uh, I, thought, I thought I'd bring up that bring up that memory from uh, when was it? 1973. 1973. 14 year old Paul Daigle. Play it like you were 14, Paul. <laughs> the Paradise Two Step.
pretty close. Paul, pretty close. Close. Yeah, uh, I'll point what, out. What a lot of people have to remember is that this song was originally a fiddle tune. That's right. So a lot of the accordion players stole it from the fiddle and, and the made themselves famous over it. <laughs> all this time it was originally a fiddle tune. That's right. And uh, I just noticed a couple of differences. One, when you were 14, you didn't have a beard. No. <clears throat> you were sitting down and you hadn't met Ken Smith yet. <laughs> yeah, met. Oh, you had met? Yeah, as a matter of fact, Ken and I had already competed he was competing in fiddle contests and I was competing in a, in a accordion contest and on several occasions we were uh, 